on the table today. It is Star Wars Mando Mania. Hasbro has sent over this enormous coffin-sized box. There's probably a Mandalorian inside this box. It is so gigantic. But to celebrate the third season of Mandalorian, we've got an enormous Hasbro box here. Look how big this thing goes. From one side of the screen and continuing on. There it is. Look at the decorative artwork on this thing. It is simply enormously huge. And we're gonna open this thing up. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna open this up. If we even have enough room, it's gonna like slam into something here. Watch out, squirrel. I'll save you. Opening up. Oh my. The smell of print is in the air. Decorative print and cardboard. Oh my. If you could just get a slight glimpse of what we're going to try to accomplish today. Ouch! just fell off my shelf. Oh no! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh. Okay, so we'll just go one item at a time. And yes, sadly, I'm going to have to be working on Bowser for a while. He has just been completely destroyed off my shelf. Oh, poor, poor Bowser. I thought this guy would be indestructible. Apparently he's not. Oh. Oh my. Anyhow, let's get into this. Squirrel Stampede! Okay, I think I'm finally situated here on a nice table, sturdy, nothing's gonna fall on my head. We can begin to look at this awesome packed box of Mando Mania from Hasbro. Let's start with a galactic action Mandalorian and Groku with sound effects. Kind of a creepy laugh, but kind of cool. Let's open this up. I want to see this closer. Okay, there's Manto, his jetpack. Place the jetpack on, of course. Always a little assembly required. Time's up, kid. We gotta get out of here. Nice. Oh my. Grogu should be removable. Oh, Grogu's got to be unscrewed here. Grogu is tightly wound into his bag so that he doesn't pop out at the store. So save that screw if you want to kind of embed him in there permanently. But now we can take Rogu out. Oh! Finally got this is the way. We've got a moving arm rotation up top, but that's about it. Maybe head rotation, head rotation too. A nice soft uh, fabric cape though. Oh, now he's going all for this is the way. So let's place Rogu back in, see if it interacts. A little bit there. Wherever I go, he goes. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I've always wanted to see one of these up close. I've seen them several times. You can kind of drape the cape around his back. Looks really nice. It's just not a full articulated figure. It's more of just kind of a exciting adventure figure. So there we go, Mando Galactic Action Mando. Okay, what else do we find in here? There are a ton of these Bounty Collection Grokus. Uh, Bounty Collection already on Series 5. That's crazy. It feels like these are just, just have been introduced. So there's Grogu with what I thought at first with, was Darth Vader, but it's actually a Dark Trooper mask, if you can see that. He's kind of just sitting there in the wreckage of one of the masks, maybe pulling out maybe a credit. It almost looks like a little credit chip. So that's kind of fun. And there's a whole bunch of these in here. We've got Grogu with some maybe Beskar armor or some sort of Imperial printed thing. What was that again? I can't remember if that was Beskar to be melted. There he is with a dark saber. And I think they usually have these in groups of six, maybe. Uh, yeah, they're groups of six. So this one is Grogu with a cute little, oh, what's that guy's name? What is that? Anybody want to help me out with that guy? And just a very cute Grogu figurine, static figurine. I probably would have gone through these in the past if they had articulation or something. Uh, and there he is with the famous uh, control knob uh, disc spear thing from Mando's ship. So pretty neat little one. I think this one's maybe one of my favorites out of that group. Well, what else do we have in here? This over here is really cool. This is the Mandalorian Navarro Cantina backdrop scene. Did I say that right? Navarro 
I love Cantina stuff. This is some of my favorite stuff to collect. So awesome that was inside. You can really create your own world of imagination with Cantina stuff. So we have a back wall and we've got a table with some drinks and some chairs. And it looks like it comes with an Imperial Death Trooper inside there. There is an Imperial Death Trooper. Um, these are just terrific creative fun. I love goofing around with these sets. So awesome little display set. And these are pretty spendy. This whole box is just amazing. Thank you Hasbro again for sharing this with us today. This is probably my favorite thing in the box. It's a little odd. Everyone's like, you like the back wall of the cantina. That's strange. Okay, Boba Fett has something to join in. He's got his own lightsaber. Woo! Mustard color. Fett has got something too. If you collect character lightsabers, which are pretty cool, there's an abundant uh, supply of different versions now of different characters. So there's a Boba Fett uh, saber. Pretty neat. Okay, squirrels, looks like there is a ton of lightsabers in here. We've got a Star Wars Lightsaber Forge Ahsoka Tano. Build your own, customize, uh, create, modify. These are always a lot of fun. They all have interlocking parts and you can mix and match with other sabers out there. Uh, these are great if you're into saber play. And Ahsoka is a big key character in The Mandalorian at times. So pretty fun to see this in there. And another saber we've got, oh, ugh, this one's heavy. Ugh, it's the dark saber. Another Star Wars lightsaber forge. How is this one going to look? We gotta, we gotta open this one up and see this one. Okay, I think I got this right. I think I have it. You had to install two AAA batteries to get this to function. There's most of our saber ready. Oh, there's a button. And we've got dark saber sounds and lights. There's even a little bit of a LED in there. Motion sensitive, very heavy, very, very heavy. I must not be exactly worthy. And of course you've got all these little components to take apart. Probably not supposed to do it that way. This was an interesting part to get into the battery pack I found was extra troublesome. Oh, we've got explosive saber sounds, and now I've really just destroyed my dark saber. Hmm. Okay, we got that fixed, and then let's replace this back on. I think it screws on. Somehow. Ah, uh, eventually you'll get it to screw back on, but that's all for customization. I, I could probably take that Ahsoka saber and combine it with this one, which would be really weird. And of course, collapsible saber part. Okay, I think we got it though, that's pretty neat. Okay, so that's one of the dark sabers out there. These are great for just light, fun play. They're not too expensive, so if you destroy them, you know, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so what do we find next? We've got a wild riding Grogu. That's different. I don't think I've seen this before. Two ways to play. Kind of interesting. Not as cool as the lightsabers in my book, but a really good Grogu figure. He's got a nice soft coat to him and movable arms and a good face. So a good Grogu figure if you're looking for something like that without Mando uh, in it, like we had saw earlier with the jetpack Mando. Okay. Oh. Star Wars Black, woohoo! We've got the Star Wars the Mandalorian Dark Trooper. I've really come into collecting some of these six inch figures nowadays. For the longest time, I was a three and three quarter figure collector, but I'm finally jumping over to six inch. So much more realism, so much better articulation. It actually works. Three and three quarter, often the articulation is going to be a little sticky. Oh, and of course we've got the Mandalorian himself. There we go. So that's a fun look. You gotta have Mando in a box of Mando, Mando Mania items. And this is probably my favorite because of the articulation, the realism, all that fun stuff. And then we have Paz Vizala, is that how you say his name? In one of the newer Hasbro non-window packaging that we'll see more and more of. Uh, they're doing pretty good. They make it look pretty interesting still. And what's kind of cool about uh, non-window packaging is you can kind of get them back inside the box for storage things like that. So there's Paz Vizela, if I say his name right. I'm not sure. Name, naming in Star Wars has typically been, uh, you can call someone Han Solo or 
uh, Han, or you know, everyone has like a name you can say two different ways. Leia, Leah, so it doesn't matter. Oh, Boba Fett is back with the Book of Boba Fett mask. These are always fun. I want my armor back. Uh, sound effects, scissor button, orange button. I want my armor back. There it is, right on the side here. Kind of quiet. Mandalore, the Empire turned that planet to glass. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard to hear, but I think it's because it's still in the box, but that is a fun one to wear. But what we really want, since this is Mando Mania, we want the Mando's mask. So there we go. I'm a Mandalorian. This is the way. I like those odds. Also the same button. This is the way. Oh, much louder, much better. I like those odds. <laughs> okay, that one's fun. Let's open this one up. Haha, <laughs> Mando's mask is so simple, so let's see if we can get this on and try it. Button is up top corner. Ah, so this is what it looks like. You can actually see better than I thought. You can see really well inside this mask. I've got full vision all along here and here and even down. You can look down a little bit. So I always thought that it'd be really hard to see with, but it's pretty, pretty decent. I'm a Mandalorian. <laughs> This is the way. I like those odds. I like those odds. Not a bad little mask accessory. It's got a little bit of uh, rubber on the side there for your forehead. It's got it got to get hot in there, so it's got to have all sorts of like air conditioning, radio, a water bed, maybe. I mean, everything in Mando's mask has to be comfortable since you're going to be wearing it all the time. Okay, so what else do we have? There's only two things left, and they are big ones. What do we start with? I'll go with the helmet first. Another helmet, a third, the third helmet in this box. This is a Bo-Katan Star Wars Black Series helmet. No way, I've never seen one of these before. Let's check this out too. It's a little dinged up, so. I think it's okay to open up. We don't have to worry about priceless heirlooms here. Bo-Katan, heavily featured so far in the first few episodes of season three. And wow. So these are gonna be a little more fancy. I occasionally see them at my Target, but not very often. And it's really wrapped nicely in there to keep it protected. There's the core piece of helmet. There might be an attachment piece. We'll just go with what we got. Wow. So yeah, highly detailed Bo-Katan. And I see some more nice soft rubber inside for head, head air conditioning helping a hand. It probably has, I think I see some electronics in there maybe, or maybe that's just, um, atmosphere control. Let's see where the other pieces, there should be the little rocket. Oh, sure enough, there it is, the little rocket scope. And that will just probably click right in. There we go, so that's gonna flip up and down. A little button maybe, to, yeah, a little button presses it down. Okay, so let's try this, let's try this on. So this one, if you can hear me, uh, a little harder to see, hard to see out of this thing. Um, echoes in my ears, I can barely hear. It matches really well with my sweater. Um, I could probably put my hood up over it. No, um, yeah, it's, oh, there's this thing. That's, that's pretty amazing. Usually though, whew, it's warm in there. Usually though, these are better for just placing on a shelf and display. You're not gonna run around and wear this. And these are pretty high dollar. And so you're not gonna want to really destroy them out in play. These are more for out, out and about play. Um, these are out and about awesome display, but Bo-Katan has one of the best, what is that, an owl? The owl mask? Um, one of the best masks of the Mandalorians. Really cool color. That is a fantastic piece, so. Very cool, Hasbro. Very cool. And finally, this thing will just blow everything out of the box here. We've got, maybe I can set my box up real quick. 
better. We've got a Force FX Elite Darksaber. This is so crazy. A Mandalorian Darksaber Force FX Elite Lightsaber. Combining advanced LEDs and amplified sound technology, the Force FX Elite Lightsaber is the most authentic Force FX Lightsaber yet. I've never owned one of these. I've always been curious of getting something like this. Uh, picking my favorite saber, light, uh, the dark saber would be one to pick out. I think one of my favorites is Luke's green saber from Jedi. Um, I still have a basic Hasbro version of that. Well, it's probably Kenner by now, but wow. So let's, let's see this out. The box is also dinged up a little bit, so it wouldn't be a travesty to destroy out of packs. What? The box is empty. The box is empty! Oh no, wait. It's on the other side. Wow, this thing is heavy. And I'm not just saying that because the Darksaber is heavy. This must weigh at least five, five pounds on the hilt. That is impressive. I've got a little LED light going so far. It's black, it's shiny. You can tell this is high dollar. And then I've got the Darksaber sword part, but I gotta, I gotta figure out how to attach it because it doesn't just attach. So give me a second here to figure this out a little more. Okay, with some slight assembly required, I think we got it. You have a little Allen wrench here and you take off the top part of this hilt here. So if you wanted to have it without the blade, you can have this little piece inserted. Take that out, switcheroo a few things, place the sword on and then turn on. What? That is cool. Sound effects, again, very heavy. That is terrifically awesome. I've never played with one of these before. Oop. That's my microphone. So every time I press this button, I get cool feedback sounds. And there's even some red, I just noticed some red LEDs light up on the hilt. That is so crazy when you're using it. And speaker maybe, speaker on the hilt right here on and off button and it turns off. Let's see if I can get a good angle of it going on. Wow, that is so cool. Cascading LED effect. Press to hold to turn off and turn on. I'm trying to see some of that red, but I can't. But wow, this is terrifically, amazingly awesome. This is so weird and heavy. That's all I can think about is heavy. It's got a nice fancy display stand if you like that for display. Of course, I might just place this on the wall somewhere, maybe above the, the Titanic or something, but what a feature end to this amazing box. Let's power this down. So squirrels, look at all of that. It doesn't go back in. You always have it extended and or placed back in. I'll just set it up here for now. Um, that was a terrific fun surprise. Thank you so much Hasbro for sharing this with us today. It was really exciting to see all these great items as series three or season three rolls out over on Disney Plus. It's been an exciting season so far. Can't wait to see how it continues. All this Mando gear awesome. The squirrels are excited to see it. Thank you again for watching. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel eye, squamant, your favorite Mando item. Thank you again. That's what I have to say about that. This is the way.